Welcome back, race fans, to another edition of Behind the Windshield. I am your host, That Savage, and today I am joined by another very special guest, owner of Team Toyota, Mr. Lightfield. Mr. Lightfield, thanks for joining us today. Thanks, Savage. Excited to be here. Uh, I've seen your little show and uh, decided uh, I'd grace you with my presence this week. Uh, Mr. Lightfield, before we get started, I just want to say that you are one great-looking man. Has anybody ever told you this before? Actually, no, nobody's ever told me that. Um, but, you know, seeing that you're another man, I mean, a little weird. But I have to say, I'm mildly attracted to you myself. Uh, and now let's let's just go ahead and jump straight into it. Mr. Lightfield, how do you feel about your team's performance so far? Uh, I'd have to say I'm pretty ecstatic over our team's performance. Um, I would say that... Uh, I, I would like to see a little more out of Clark in our developmental car. Um, I, I, I'd have to put some of that on myself, though, um, as I've been running next week's setups in Clark's car, uh, trying to uh, get them ready. Uh, we're going to correct that going forward, though, and uh, you should start seeing some top tens come rolling in for Clark uh, as his confidence builds. Um, PA, uh, PA I, I, I did get a little confident at the beginning of the season. Um, I did, uh, set the benchmark over under at three wins for PA. Um, you know, he's doing a great job. Top five in points. Uh, the win still hasn't come, uh, but we're, we're confident and, uh, we, we're, we're sure it's going to come. Um, Carl, Carl's really, uh, really starting to get back into the groove. Uh, I think you're starting to see that out on the track, uh, being a little more competitive week in and week out, uh, you know, the, uh, the re final results really haven't quite been there. Uh, he's been uh, under some uh, unfortunate bad luck. Uh, and then um, D-Train. I mean, uh, what else can you say about the guy? Uh, he, he's going out there. He's winning week in and out. Um, you know, and if he doesn't win, uh, he's going he's gonna to cost the company a lot of money trying uh, by wrecking the car. Um, other than that... Uh, Really couldn't be prouder of the guys. Uh, and, yeah, uh, with Mr. Bobbitt, uh, those wins will come. Uh, I'm, I'm confident in that. Mr. Lightfield, this week we had to road America. Uh, how do you feel about your individual car uh, and how you're going to perform out there on the track as you also are the driver of the number 20 uh, Toyota? Uh, yeah, I think the team's going to do really well this week. Um, you know, we put a lot of time and effort uh, team Toyota does at least, uh, in, uh, our development and, um, you know, uh, wind tunnel time, uh, making sure that the cars are tuned properly, uh, and everybody's car is kind of tuned and catered to them. Uh, like I said previously, uh, we had been running the next week setups in Clark's cars. Uh, so hopefully you'll see a difference that week as we're getting that corrected now. Um, and, um, you should see a top 10 performance coming out of him and uh, the rest of the squad, you know, just keep doing what they're doing. Uh, and uh, we, we have a, uh, 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 a lot of confidence in PA uh, that those wins are coming. Uh, Mr. Lightfield, the number 21 this week at Daytona, uh, how do you feel about your chances at Road of America? Yeah, uh, that's really exciting. Uh, another great question, Savage. Um, you know, Team Toyota has done a really great job this season. Um, you know, we are leading in the team overall manufacturer points. Um, I I really couldn't be any prouder of our guys. Um, and uh, with uh, Mr. Bobbitt, uh, we're confident that those wins are coming. Uh <laughs> Moving on, uh, Mr. Lightfield, a, f a fan writes in, hey, Lightfield, you wrecked me last season intentionally, and I'll never forgive you. Dustin Mears. Uh, what, what do you have to say about that? Uh, yeah, I mean, that, that's another great question, Savage. Um, you know, exciting stuff going on over here at Team Toyota. Um, we've done a lot of work 
and making sure that we can get in and out of the chicanes. Um, and um, yeah, they just um, were confident in uh, PA and Mr. Bobbitt and uh, those wins are coming. Maybe. What does a chicane have to do with anything? Uh, another great question, Savage. Uh, I have to say, uh, I love your show. Uh, you're doing a great job. And, um, you know, over here at Team Toyota, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're working on a lot of great new and exciting things. And, um, you know, between slide jobs, you know, the chicanes, um, and uh, Mr. Bobbitt, uh, we're confident that those wins are going to come for him. And, uh, yeah. Is, is this guy for real? Am I getting punked right now? Mr. Lightfield, uh, do you think we'll see PA get a win this season? Uh, another great question, Savage. Um, yeah, like we were discussing before, we were running Clark's, um, Clark's car with the next week's setups. And uh, I do think that'll translate um, – a little better, maybe this week. Uh, that that's great. Um, how do you feel about your chances uh, this season for an individual title uh, for the number twenty car? A another great question, Savage. Um, yeah, I I've been really proud of Team Toyota. Um, they've done a great job. Uh, you know, PA has been running top five in the uh, point standings uh, for most of the season. Uh, Carl's doing a fantastic job. I think you're really going to like what you see out of him uh, the remainder of the way. Uh, Clark's doing everything he can. And, uh, you know, we, we got some things corrected on his end as we were running the next week's setups in his cars. So you should start seeing those top tens come in and uh, D train. I mean, what, what else can you say about the guy? Um, you know, he goes out there and he wins. And um, if he doesn't, he's bringing it home on a record. Uh, no, I think you misunderstood me. Uh, your car, the number 20 Toyota Dewalt car. How do you feel about your chances and your performance so far this season? Um, yeah, I just, uh, I want to say I'm really proud of our guys. Um, they're, they're working really hard. Uh, the, the sponsors are rolling in and, um, you know, uh, I, I, I really, I've, I've not seen this many sponsors come flooding in since, um, uh, probably the early two thousands in NASCAR. Um, you know, and, uh, that's all due to team Toyota and, uh, the great work that we've been doing over here. Uh, I mean, what else can you say about D train? Uh, he's done a great job so far uh, winning races. And uh, if he doesn't win them, uh, he's bringing the car home on a record. Uh, costs us a lot of money there. And uh, P.A. Bobbitt, uh, he's, uh, we're confident that those wins, those wins will come. Yeah. Um, Carl, Carl, uh, I think you're going to see uh, a lot of great, great things from him moving forward. Uh, I, I think he's starting to get back into it. Um, and uh, yeah, Clark. Clark, we, we kind of messed up. We had been running next week's setups in his cars, um, but uh, we, we got that corrected this week. And uh, I don't know what happened. Uh, there must have been like a, like a malfunction. And, uh, you know, when, when the emails went out, hey, run this, run that, uh, Clark was running next week's setups. So we're, we're confident we got that corrected now. And uh, you should start seeing some top 10 finishes uh, coming out of him. I <laughs> I, anybody, anybody got anything? No. Okay. Tune in next week. Hopefully we can get another guest on here. Um, the racers will be heading to Chicagoland. Uh, an update was put out uh, earlier this week. Uh, pretty much they're going to bump back the Richmond all-star race uh, one week due to see some um, travel issues. Uh, and they're going to head out to Chicagoland next week and, uh, the following week will be our all-star race uh, in trucks at Richmond. So tune in for that. And um, just, uh, yeah, I, what else do you want me to say? I mean, uh, Mr. Lightfield, thanks, thanks for joining us.
Yeah, uh, uh, another great question, Savage. For the love um, of God, cut we're, we're, the tape. We're excited over here at Tim.